In this video I'll show you how to create a clean blending. As you can see here are some differences between the step blending and the color blending. Anyways, I have created a rectangle for the background and gave it a gradient color. Here I'm creating a circle. And I will duplicate this circle by hitting Ctrl D and changing the size of this circle. Now let's select both of the circles and hit Ctrl K to combine them or simply go to path and hit combine. Perfect. The reason why I'm doing this is to um, is, uh, is because I'm uh, because of the uh, I'm going to use a path effect that requires two objects that are combined. So let's uh, go to path and open the path effect. Effects. Path effects. Anyways, let's cl click <laughs> let's click this plus button and search for interpolate sub paths. It's hard to pronounce that. Anyways, search for that and click. Now we already got some uh, got five steps but I need uh, more than that so 80 or 90 would work fine I chose 85 and don't go too okay. quick on this uh, button I'm changing the uh, path or the curve you can double click to add more notes but I want to keep it simple alright now once you're done hit control shift C to apply the path effect that we had or go to path and click object to path perfect now I want to uh, break apart so hit control shift K or go to path and Select like break apart. Anyways, let's go to object selection and select all the objects that we got. And now I want to give it a um, gradient color. So go to fill and stroke. Be sure you are in the fill color. And select linear gradient. Again, be sure you are in the fill. Select linear gradient. And give it a few seconds. It's going to take uh, some time to process. Now we've got the gradient. Select this pencil. And now you can see all the uh, uh, grade color notes for the gradient. But I decided to create a sphere far away from the uh, from my objects so I can control that the gradient from the sphere. So be sure you select this one in the bottom that contains uh, 85 objects that, that we created. So select that one. Now we have 86 objects plus the circle. All of them got the same gradient color. Select the pencil and uh, now we have the ability to change the gradient of this circle and the other will follow. But be sure this one is locked like this. All right. Now double click create a color node. Now when I change this to white, also the other one will follow. Now it's time to create uh, a gradient color. <laughs> um, you can follow me, I, I made this a uh, little bit faster. I changed the speed of the video here, so um, that it doesn't take too long. Uh, you can create your own gradient not really important anyways so once you're done and once you're satisfied you can now um, select all the uh, objects all the circles that we have in the shape but don't select the one that, that created only the one in the bun bottom now hit ctrl G to group them or go to object and select group 
shortcut is Control G. All right, I've hit Control D and duplicate the object, moved it, moved it down. And now I want to get results like this one. So for that, I will use filters. Go to filter and select filter editor. And by the way, ignore all these filter filters that I already have. I used them before, so click new and now I got this new filter, rename it to uh, whatever you want. I renamed it to color blend, blending, color blending, and check the checkbox. Uh, yeah, the object will disappear, but that's fine. Go here and select Gaussian blur and click add. Now we have the Gaussian blur added. Can increase the strength of the Gaussian blur until we got the seams disappeared like so now we have no longer have no seams anymore now select the color matrix this one color matrix and add effect ignore the small cursor that is following my big cursor <laughs> it's a technical issue anyways now let's go back to um, color matrix be sure you are in the uh, effect parameters I want to change the value at the bottom this one to 20 and this one to minus 10 perfect and this is the end result and just to compare between both of them and there's a huge difference the results that we got is a lot smoother so thanks for watching, I hope this was helpful and peace.